I can't complain. I can't say anything. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. There is this thing though, where we downplay our hard because somebody else has it harder. Yeah. And that's actually, that's not healthy. Yeah, that's true. We, we each get to be in the hard that we're in and we can pray for God to expand our capacity or whatever too. But yeah. what you're going through is hard also. We don't have to, that comparison, that whole measuring ourselves is, um, is a trap that we fall into even in hard things when we mm. compare and say, oh, but so-and-so has it harder. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. But let's expand on that. I'm curious. So comparing harder, I don't know that I've really discussed that yet, but um, like, is that, you said it was kind of unhealthy. So would it be unhealthy for me to be like, you know what, uh, that person's going through a really rough time. I'm very thankful uh, I'm not going through that. Is, is that kind of what you're, mm. you're talking about or am yeah. I, am I off on that? I think what I was saying, um, is we almost bypass what we're going through and that's, what's not what I'm pointing oh, to see. is not okay. healthy. Right. Cause we are allowed to, um, it's like saying I lost my dog, but so-and-so lost their parent. Like I can't, I, I shouldn't grieve this because they have that. Well, I'm allowed to grieve this and they're allowed to grieve that without us measuring. Um, cause I think we can easily bypass our emotions if we start measuring like, oh, well, so-and-so has it harder. Yeah. That's a really good point. Cause I know I've done that in the past. Uh, I've told myself that where something happens and it was really hard for me, but maybe not a lot of people understand. And then you kind of just. I've swallowed it and just like, you know what? It's, I don't need to address it right now because someone else has it harder. So I've definitely done that. And I can see how it's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we do this with any struggle. I do. Like I was struggling a couple of weeks ago. It was just a heavy, it was like a heavy week. There was a lot of ministering. I felt like the burden on my shoulders was heavy. Um, after I came out of whatever fog it was for a few days, it was totally something spiritual. But while I was in it, I texted two people and I, I was like, I, this feels heavy. I don't know what's going on, but I know both of them have their own stuff going on. So I could rationalize like not texting them. And it was really funny because I think I'm growing in this area of asking for help or reaching out. Um, so I intended to text them, but I was playing this game in my head of like, which one of the two should I text? Mm. And then it was like, God was like, why not text both? Why not reach out for both? Cause we are worth taking care of. Even if we feel like it shouldn't be that big of a deal, we like rationalize it away. Yeah. Um, so that's just another example of, boy, I've done that. 